Hello everyone, Carson here, and in today's video, I'm going to be comparing HostGator and Hostinger in 2021. Now, before we get into this comparison, I've got a link to both of these companies in the description at a special discount, so you can check them out if you would like. And now let's get right into the video. Oh, also just one reminder to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, so every time I upload, you are notified, and let's get started on the comparison. Now, HostGator and Hostinger are two of my all-time favorite hosting companies. In fact, they both make it into the top three. In fact, they both make it into my top three hosting companies of 2021. I honestly think they're fantastic companies and they provide fantastic service, but in this video, I did want to run down a comparison between them to compare the strengths and weaknesses of both companies. Now, Hostinger is world renowned for its very cheap hosting services, whereas HostGator is also very cheap, but it's one of the biggest hosting companies on the market as well. It competes with the likes of GoDaddy and stuff like that. It is huge. Now, generally speaking, I have to preface this by saying these are both very good companies. You're not going to be finding a lot of differences between them in terms of service per price. However, getting into some of the differences, Hostinger is slightly cheaper than HostGator, coming in at around $1 per month, whereas HostGator comes in at around $275. This is something to take into consideration because if you're looking for the most budget hosting on the market, Hostinger definitely shines through on that category. They excel in offering the cheapest plans on the market. So if you have a very tight budget, I definitely would recommend going with Hostinger. Otherwise though, it becomes a lot less clear between the two companies and I recommend checking them out and actually checking out and comparing the similar plans to see which ones have the right amount of resources for your website. One gigantic benefit of HostGator is that they offer some of the most complete tutorials and resources on the market to date. They have a very, very comprehensive guide complete with video tutorials and live support 24 seven. Now Hostinger does have all of this as well, but their support isn't as comprehensive as HostGator. HostGator probably has the best support on the market out of all the hosting companies I can think of off the top of my head. Now they both have a 99.99% .99 uptime guarantee. They both offer a free domain name for one year when you start out with your hosting plan. And they both offer over 30 days of money back guarantee. So if you purchase a plan and you decide not to go with them, you can do that. All of these features, all of these services are basically the same. The main differences come down to the specific plans and the specific amount of resources you'll be getting per plan. In the end, they are both spectacular web hosts, but usually I will recommend Hostinger to my customers who are starting out because they do provide such a cheap price. However, if you are looking for more like interactive tutorials, step-by-step -step videos, all of that stuff, HostGator could definitely be the one for you. Or if you're not really concerned about the price starting out, then you can just pick between them depending on the plans. That is going to do it for today's video though. So remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I will have a link in the description to both of these companies at a special discount. Thanks for watching. Till next time and have a great day.